All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Superfluous Nodes mod, which is being made by form user GeoNovast. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a whole load of new attachment nodes to various in-game parts to make your life a little bit easier in construction. And I love this mod, as I have wondered so many times why say a uh, surface mounted part like a solar panel didn't have an attachment node for you to use with other attachment nodes or why a structural part only had ones at the two ends but nowhere else for you know easier building and that's what this mod looks to remedy so let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we get now let's just grab ourselves a random mark one lander can here and take a look at our first part with new attachment nodes and that is the external command seat normally attached to any surface as such we now have on it two different attachment nodes so we can either place it on top of a thing like that or even attach it by the back of the chair which i like it gives you fun interesting new options for how to place this thing and that that is cool to me so yes that is our first part and also speaks to a um i guess you could say a rule of thumb in regards to what parts are getting new attachment nodes and primarily it's things that are radially slash surface attached parts which normally you just pop to the outside of things and let it be now we have attachment nodes on them as well so that you can if you so desire attach them via the node or you can continue to just use it as the radially attached thing now that is the only one in command uh, or in pods rather that we do have with this so next we are actually going to move now to command and control where the only part in here is the rv 105 rcs thruster block which again still can be radially attached but now also has a node and Thanks to that node, you can stack them now. I mean, that's a thing you can now do. And I'm okay with this. I don't know why you'd ever want to make a weird stack like this of those RCS blocks, but you can, and that is a good thing. Now that's it for there. Now we have a few more parts in a structural, the first one being the M-Beam 200 I-Beam, which as you can see now has a multitude of new attachment nodes along it, rather than just on the top and bottom, which I very much enjoy. So we can now make all sorts of weird wacky constructs now we then also have of course the uh, other smaller beam here again with a number of attachment nodes for you to take advantage of on either side we then if we pop these off have uh, the same deal here on the girder segment we're not just having the top and bottom but we now have it on all four of these sides and equally with the um the larger XL version where we have many glorious attachment nodes and this this is one of my favorite parts of this entire mod I have wondered for so long why there weren't attachment nodes at all these different points because that's usually where I build stuff on them and it'd be nice to more easily place it there rather than trying to be a bit fiddly with exact placement and yeah, so that is uh, the structural bits we have. Now we also, actually let's leave that on there. If we go to the payload section, we now also have interior nodes inside the different cargo bays. So if we bring out, say, this uh, Mark III, you'll see that we now have uh, two nodes at those locations on either side for you to be able to make some interesting building construction bits in there. Now, of course, also with the uh, larger version and then the even uh, larger version with many, many new glorious attachment nodes for you to use. And equally, we have them with the Mark II cargo bay there. We can pop that on and you can see it has just one node on either side. And then with the elongated one right there. 
So there we are. Not as many attachment nodes as with the Mark III, but I mean, it is a smaller one, so kind of understandable. There isn't one in the cargo ramp, but I think that kind of makes sense. I don't know what you'd be building in there, but uh, hey, may maybe you want to add one. Now, after that, we have... I'm actually going to skip aerodynamics for now because that... That is my favorite part of the entire mod, so I'll save it for last. Now, so let's go and look at uh, ground here. And on the various wheels for rovers, they now have an attachment node, which I especially love this because, well, a lot of my rovers tend to use, say, this girder segment here, where I then slap a wheel on. And now I can just easily place it there without having to do much thought. There we are. With those attachment nodes, it just goes on nice and easy. Boom. There we go. Beautiful. Now, also, we have, with thermal protection, we have things with, uh, say, the, again, radially attached parts. Now, having that node right there. So, rather than just being radially attached, which, again, you still can do, you can now just slap it right onto a node without much fuss. And that, of course, goes for the other ones in here. Now, in electrical, same deal with the solar panel here we now have the uh, lovely little attachment node again can still radially attach if you so desire but now boom slap it on there perfectly positioned without having to fuss around and same deal with the smaller ones as well as batteries we now do have an attachment node you can see it right there where we can just place it right on its point without any issue. And also with the fuel cells, there is the node on that bad boy. So there we go, just pop it right on and you're good. Now, after that, hold on, let me go look at my other monitor real quick. I need to scroll down the page just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Wouldn't want to do that. Uh, we do have, with the uh, science experiments, again, the radially attached ones, now having different nodes, such as the mystery goo bay here. If we flip it around, there it goes. Just snaps right into place. Perfectly. And that's great. That's great. We also do have it with the lights, those having nodes now as well, which is just so convenient. There we are, beautiful. And the, uh, the final parts to look at, which, like I said, is my absolute favorite, wings. I have spent so much time with wings trying to build a plane that fits together. And I always freaking hate trying to line up these things so that I can make a longer, more extended wing. Now I don't have to worry about that. I have attachment nodes and they go perfectly in place without me having to fiddle around with it. And of course it is on multiples of the wings here. As with other parts that I have kind of skimmed over, uh, just looking at the main category, uh, it basically like I said, any part in here that is radially or surface mounted attached, it probably has some nodes now to make your life a lot easier. And this, this alone is worth the download of this mod in my mind. I have had such trouble trying to build wings in the past that now I, I don't have to have that trouble anymore. I have easy to place attachment nodes to build really long, interesting wings and have them hopefully more securely fit together. And yeah, that, that is the Superfluous Nodes mod. Not really a whole lot more to talk about here. We just have various parts, either structural or surface mounted attachable that now have nodes and I love it. So if you'd like to check this mod out for yourself, which I would certainly recommend you and do, you can have a look at the link in the description as per usual, but that, that is going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next episode when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one.